All right. So, hey, everyone. How's it going? We've got our first guest on the Bookmatic YouTube channel. Uh, his name is Aditya. So, welcome to Bookmatic yeah. YouTube. Hello, everyone. My name is Aditya. Yeah. So, um, actually, Aditya, could you tell me a bit about yourself and actually how you got into journalism? You work uh, at uh, Tech in Asia, right? Uh, your main job and actually tell me a bit about your passion for books as well Okay, yeah uh, Yeah, as I mentioned before my name is Aditya. I am a journalist from Tech in Asia in case is any one of you don't know Tech in Asia We are a media media platform talking about uh, Startup and technology in Asia, especially in Indonesia. We already been here. I think since 2012 we also have annual event big annual event and then we also have a job platform and yeah, I'm a journalist there. I'm composing uh, articles about startup every day. I meet a lot of startup founders, a lot of VC, a lot of investor, government, and et cetera. And besides my passion in startup and technology, I also have a passion in books. That's why I think we've met each other, right, Matt? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, met we actually in- met through Instagram, Instagram, right? Um, yeah. yeah, so it's our common interest that, that brought us yeah. together. Common interest in books. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, tell I, us a I, bit I, more about your passion yeah. in books and what you like to read. Yeah, I really love books. That's why I, 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 I joined a community called Goodreads Indonesia. I think we have a branch also in Surabaya. And... After that, like now I created, I started a podcast about books that review books and other things about books that called Podcast Buku Kutu. It existed now in SoundCloud and Spotify and Apple Podcast. And I started in like middle in January 2018 because oh. of my, yeah, because of my, I don't know, maybe I just being confused why people don't like reading books that's why i started yeah. the podcast on it and yeah we started right around the same time our website yeah. your, your podcast and what books that i like to read actually i like to read science fiction that's why i i think that's why i also like technology i uh, like to read fantasy and but uh, i also like to read business books like biography especially they're talking about startup like Airbnb, like uh, yeah. Uber. Awesome, man. Um, yeah. I think that's really cool that you you have a passion for reading because, I mean, yeah, I've met, <clears throat> I've met a lot of Indonesians on Instagram that like to read a lot, uh, but I've never met many in person that like to, to read a lot. So it's, it's really cool to, to meet you online and then be able to have this, uh, this, YouTube video together and also your podcast uh, that we just did a second ago. That's really cool that we can make that connection and talk about books and hopefully inspire other people as well. So how long have you been working at Tech in Asia and what kinds of experiences have you had there? Does does any of it relate to Buku Kutu? Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I started as a journalist in Tech in Asia since two years ago. Actually, before it, I um, I work as a programmer, as a developer, and but in my spare time, I also create a website uh, that talks about technology that's called itinasia.com. That's why after that, I joined Tech in Asia. And I have, uh, I have like, like, like every day, I met startup founders and I met the, founders of startup that really big they have a, like a big office like Wikipedia, like Traveloka and but oh, after so you that, actually went to those offices and you yeah, got yeah, I went to the talk offices, with I met, yeah I met with the people there and but like after that I can also go to Depok in the deep <laughs> town of Depok and I go to uh, like a rent house there are three rooms there, three bedrooms there, mm-hmm. and in every rooms there is every there is one startup. 
Okay. So in one room, there are one rent house. There are like three startups there, and they're like <coughs> having. They do everything to 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 get their startup like uh, noted by media and noted by users, something like that. And that's why I when I when I read, I think that my 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 first uh, the like the first startup books that I read is the biography of Amazon. You know it. Yeah. Like Redstone. Yeah, yeah. That 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 show me that how strong the startup is. I in that book I I read there is a story about uh, an employee of Amazon that forget that he brings his car to the office and he just realized that after he got a warrant from a. Uh, yeah, it's 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 really interesting. It's so it's like show me how hard to create a startup is. Yeah, definitely. That's cool that you've got those, those experiences meeting those people and, you know, seeing what they're going through. And, uh, and then also, you know, Brad Stone, he's a really good author. Just, I just yeah. finished the upstarts and I see that you've got it back there as well. Since you have had experience talking with, you know, actual startups in Jakarta, Bogor, where did you say? Uh, I I also met startup in Medan, in Depok, in Bekasi, in Tangerang. Okay, actually, is that what you write about? You write about startups, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I write about startup. I write about how they start their business, how they grow right now, and also I I I talk about the their business in general. I mean, like there are a lot of startup doing things in agriculture, right? That's mm. that's what I write about. I talk about how they in in a group try to thrive in, or how they can disrupt the agriculture business, how they can disrupt the the fintech business, how they compare to bank, how they can compare to the fintech, to the, mm. to the I mean like to the to the loan shark something. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm. That's so what since I'm you've interviewed a lot of these people and done a lot of journalism about them. Uh, what kind of suggestion would you give to maybe some other young entrepreneurs out here in Indonesia or around the world? What kind of suggestion would you give to them to, I don't know, start a, a good, well-rounded business in Indonesia? Yeah, I think uh, there is something that uh, a lot of startup founders want to be, like forget when they start a business. That is, is uh, you have to try, you have to start something based on problem. So start with identifying the problem. Mm -hmm. A lot of founders, they only want to like push their own version of solution. You, mm -hmm. you, you see the difference? We, yeah. They don't know how actually, how the problem is. They don't understand what the people want, but they just want to create something that is, pretty cool in their opinion and they want to push it to the market they don't really care is it people need or not but they just like pushing it pushing right, it right, and yeah, they, yeah they, and they actually uh, that's something that uh, we read about in uh, start with with why right oh, yeah. Start with why yeah, yeah, um, yeah. you know I, I read quite a bit about this um, if you don't have some sort of purpose for, you know, starting your startup, uh, if it's not solving some sort of problem, then, you know, what's the, the purpose of it? A lot of people start their, their businesses just because they want to get money, right? And that's not the right reason to, to start a business. Yeah. The right reason is to solve some sort of problem and help people out. Yeah. I think I think the I think the, the 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 best example is like Gojek. You know, Gojek is like have started since two thousand ten, I think, but mm -hmm. uh, they don't have a success until two thousand fifteen. Until they launching the app in two thousand fifteen, and in the right. middle between two thousand and ten, two thousand fifteen, the CEO, the founder, Nadim Karim, is like keep trying to push it and push it. I think if he like. Uh, have no have no big motivation at the first time. I think there will be no Gojek right now. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have to give lots of props to him, you know, because uh, Gojek is all over the place now. Uh, yeah. Of course, the thing that kind of sucks is the drivers don't get paid so much. Um, yeah. <laughs> but but it's a nice business model for for the business itself. Yeah. Uh, and you've got a lot of people uh, abroad trying to invest in Gojek right now. Yeah. True. True. It's Maybe you know more about that than me. Yeah, yeah. There's there are a lot of people who want to invest. Right? I think like the business model is really good. The 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 market uh, potential in Indonesia is really good. Everyone wants to invest in Gojek right now. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, um, another question for you. Uh, what now this pertains more to books. Uh, what is your, what is your opinion about the reading habits in Indonesia? I think, uh, people in Indonesia like to read by, but they, they only, but right now they only like to read a specific thing such as, uh, social media such as maybe uh, I don't know maybe a newspaper but the newspaper that contain uh, like a gossip things, yeah, gossip <laughs> and everything uh, they don't really want to read a book like a, a thick books that need more than one hour to read they don't have like that kind of stamina to yeah, or like patience right yeah, that's that's the thing that I think we have to start. Uh, yeah. That's why they 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 just they just like reply reply like react uh, become reactive to every issue because they don't want to think deep into the problem. That's mm. why they don't want to read something deep too. Mm -hmm. I think that's the that that that's the that's the thing that we have to change here. Cool. And what do you think a solution could be to that problem? The first one is, I think we have to, we have to change the image of reading from like a uh, very formal into a, uh, like uh, more, the things that millennials like, such as it's a cool thing. It's like a thing that we can discuss with our friends, a thing that we can show. That's why I like, uh, you know, in, in the, in Instagram, there's a very popular hashtag called Bookstagram, right? Bookstagram. Yeah, and that's, that's how uh, I found a lot of Indonesian uh, book readers is through yeah. book, and Bookstagram Indonesia as well. There's like yeah. 25,000 or 30,000 uh, posts under that yeah. hashtag. Yeah, in case there's any one of you who don't know Bookstagram, Bookstagram is like the activities to like take a photo of a books uh, like a physical books and show how it can be beautiful that's that's i think i think that's kind of thing that can change the mindset of people from not like reading into like reading and the next one i think the important things is education uh, like uh, we have to uh, encourage reading from like elementary school and and junior high school and everything but I think it's quite hard considering the politics, considering the, I mean, I mean, I think our government is don't have a specific focus for education. Right. For example, in technology world right now, I think the, 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 the curriculum of programming is really important, but I think they haven't embedded into the current curriculum, right? So that's, that's, yeah. I think, from that point, I think there is no specific focus, no big focus, no big uh, motivation from our government to like push the education area. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I've got something to say on that as well. You know, uh, when you start reading in schools, actually, I, I believe that that's uh, actually even a bit too late. Um, and I've got, you know, scientific proof from... Um, uh, child psychology books that I've been reading lately uh, due to having a daughter and of course um, other reasons as well but anyway in these books that I've read uh, it's actually very smart as a parent 
to start reading to your child even before birth and at birth and throughout their young childhood. So if you're reading to them and you're showing them uh, that reading is actually fun and can be fun, then uh, I think they will hold that habit throughout their whole entire life. As long as they enjoy it, make it a fun thing. You know, try to explain, like, especially when you're first starting out, explain the pictures, you know, and try to ask, oh, how's the, how does Jimmy feel after Lily kicked his knee? You know, and then you can express uh, the way people feel through pictures and through words to your child. Yeah, so if yeah, yeah, yeah. Indonesian people start doing that more often, then it will create a better future, I think. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's, it, it has to start as early as possible, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, even at birth, even before birth. Yeah, yeah. In sure. my personal opinion. Actually, yeah. scientific <laughs> opinion. <laughs> yeah. It has been proven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. So I, I hope through, um, through your podcast that you have and also my uh, website that, that I have and, you know, social media and all that stuff, I hope that we can actually make some sort of difference, uh, some sort of uh, dent in the universe, as Steve Jobs would say, uh, to yeah, try and get so. more people to invest in knowledge. Because when you invest in knowledge, boy, uh, your future is going to be bright. Yeah. When you don't, your f- future is going to be mediocre or even <laughs> less than mediocre. It's, sure. it's the blunt truth of, of it all. Yeah? <laughs> um, so another further question for you is uh, out of – all your Indonesian friends that you have, and you probably have tons of friends, but um, maybe just think about your close friends and think about maybe your family. How many of them do you think read on a regular basis? And when I say read is, you know, reading articles or reading books. How many of them do you think read? One out of 10? Uh... One out of 10? Uh, now it's 10 but because I also have a community that books related which is good in Indonesia but I have to separate it yeah I separate I think it's like only one or two (laughs) one or two out of out of hundred of them I like playing games I think most of them is like playing games. okay okay so really that's the truth then uh like two out of a hundred or something like that yeah I think so wow yeah that's not very much (laughs) okay yeah that gives us separated yeah that gives us even more purpose right yeah sure to follow through with your podcast and my website and all this yeah Let's get it going, man. Let's inspire more people. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Uh, can you tell me a bit about Buku Kutu? Uh, tell me about what made you decide to make the podcast. I don't know if I asked this yet. What made yeah. you decide to make the podcast all about books? And what's your overall goal and purpose for the future of Buku Kutu. Yeah, actually, uh, at the first time, actually, I want to create a YouTube channel. <laughs> but uh, when I asked my friend about how, what, what things that I should prepare, they think, oh, you have to prepare your face, the background, and the prepare your camera. Face. Your face is already there. <laughs> yeah, but my face is really good. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. The, that's why, that's uh, when I hear that, I try okay, I think it's not my, it's not my, my things, something like that. That's why I, and there is a racing of podcasts in Indonesia. And okay, I think I just try it. I just record it with my handphone. 
uh, with my smartphone and then I just added it with the free software called Audacity and I upload it in SoundCloud and yeah, that's, that's the start and I think from then, uh, I also joined the community uh, called Podcast Indonesia. That's why I, they, it's like encourage me to do more and more episodes. Uh, and also I have uh, uh, one of my episodes that's uh, called, that's talking about a book uh, uh, with the title Dylan that also have been go to the movie now. It I think it's now reach uh, eight thousand listeners. Uh, that's that's kind of thing that make me like encourage me to do more and more. And yeah, mm-hmm. until now I try to produce two episodes per week. Okay, uh, that's quite uh, a because bit. Because I yeah because I think I want to talk. There is there's a lot of thing that I want to talk, and yeah, that's why I I decided to do two episodes per week good and the, it's good to keep yeah. the consistency right yeah yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. Thing. and for my big dream i think i don't know i think i want to invite uh book writers to my podcast authors and maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe i can collaborate with big big publishers like gramedia or maybe gagas or maybe bentang to like creating a content that can uh promote a good book and maybe like some kind of critical with the hype books that's actually not really good something like that so okay. like separating a good books and not bad books but maybe uh not a really good book something like that <laughs> all right yeah 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 definitely that's good um I hope your audience continues to grow. Um, And yeah, I will uh, include your your link down below for everyone to check out. Um, Thank you. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's about it for our interview. Thank you for coming on. Is there anything else you want to say? No, I think I, I think I have a same dream with Matt. I want to more people in Indonesia that read books. That's all. Because if they read books, they can think critical and they can, yeah, maybe vote uh, for a better leaders in Indonesia. I don't know. Yeah, I yeah, I mean, it's true. If you read yeah. the right stuff, your your brain is just gonna soak it up. You're gonna yeah. become better. Not just reading, but also you know taking that stuff that you read and then applying it to your wherever. So yeah, if more Indonesians read, the country will become a better place. The logistics of everything, the economy, everything will become better. That's my vision for the world, uh, for the world as well is more Mm -hmm. people to read. The world will become a better place, more peaceful, Yeah, Yeah. I think that's what everyone wants, right? Yeah, I agree. I hope so. Great. Thank you, Aditya. You're awesome, man. man. (laughs) You too. (laughs) Uh, I I will definitely do more stuff like this more often. And maybe, you know, down the, in the future, I'll have you on the channel again. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, everyone. Uh, I'll include the links down below. Be sure to check Aditya's podcast out and also subscribe to my channel. And yeah, you guys have an awesome day. Always remember to share what you've learned with the people you care most about.